Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are all safe and well. So as we know, restrictions have been lifted slightly on the um, coronavirus situation. Um, I'm hoping soon that everything will go back to normal, hoping so I can go and spend some time with my family here and in Ireland because um, me and my mum are going to go and do some visiting around in Ireland. So um, I'm looking forward to that. So today, guys, it's going to be an item that I've been trying to restrain myself from buying for the longest time. <laughs> when I seen, um, I think it was uh, Heavy Metal Mama did her room tour and I seen her bag and I was like, oh, <laughs> no, Rachel, you don't want it. And I was trying to resist getting it. And then I thought, Do you know what? I absolutely love purple and I absolutely love red and I love black, but... I could cope with not having the black one, but I really wanted the purple one. And I seen it and I seen the black stripey purple jumper advertised with it. And I thought, no, I've got to get that bag. Now, I actually want the red one as well. Um, whether I get it or not is a different thing. You know, we can't always have everything we want. But um, with, with this said, you know, my husband's helped me purchase it. So... I thought, go on, I'll grab it. And I grabbed a cheeky little item on top of that that I've been looking at. I'm like, mm, yeah, mm, no. Now, as you know, I absolutely love Killstar. I love Dracula clothing. I love Necessary Evil, I like Kate's clothing. But I always class them as being, um, when you can afford to, to grab a few treats like that, then go for it. Um, but I also think at the minute, I'm trying to pay off everything for my competition. So... You'll probably be seeing sort of lots of old videos coming up on my channel, guys. Um, the only modern ones, the only up-to-date ones are the ones where my head is red and black. So um, I have got a video on this, guys, and we'll get that on at some point, if not before this. Right, so without further ado, I've had this for about five days, guys. I did open the box, as you can see. I have opened it. I did check it just in case and um satisfied with what i saw put it back in the box and i just left it there um i don't usually do that guys usually i would just grab it get on camera straight away and start doing it but at the minute i'm um i don't know i'm just i'm just not as eager to open it like i usually am but i thought you know what let's have a look at it let's get all my outfit together for my um alternative competition can't wait it's 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 getting close now guys um my outfits i'm going to get paid off in the next couple of weeks so they'll be sent out to me i'm not too sure if i'm going to do a review on the actual outfit before or after the competition i'm not too sure yet i might just wait until after okay guys so pack is well this took a while to get here and i completely understand why because obviously postal service and you know trying to get all these parcels out at the same time so i think i waited about a week for this guys and i completely just like didn't bother it, it'll come when it comes kind of attitude and it did and first item i'm going to grab is a clothing item i will save that bigger item for last so I've been eyeing this up for the longest time and I think it's because I've got the dress in it and I do like the dress. They do actually have a jacket in this as well and I'm like that with it to get the jacket. I'm not sure if they've got a skirt in this or maybe trousers. If they've got the trousers in this, I might go on later and have a look and if they do, I might just grab it because I just love, I love the whole style of this. So it's coming in the Killstar bag, as you can see. Um, I do keep these bags for a little while and then I get rid of them just in case anything goes wrong with the item and I have to send it back. Usually, the inf like what I've had lately of kill size, they don't expect you to send it back, they'll just send you a new one out. But I've inspected this and it seems okay, but I have not tried it on, guys. I will do a try on with this top probably tomorrow. I won't do it today because I've got completely wrong clothing on. I've got red on today. But, sorry if you hear any background noise, guys all the workmen are all back and doing work on their houses so this is the Susie o-ring top guys and it's a tartan and it's the purple tartan now way back i did do the dress of this oh oh guys i panicked then it was all this blue on it and i thought it was like blue dye it's not it's just fluff so this is what i call like the harness style top 
I don't quite know how it goes guys so I think it goes like this so this harness goes on here like across your top yeah I'd imagine and it's adjustable as well guys so you can adjust it so you can have it tighter or looser and then obviously oh um I think that goes around your neck so it's like a halter neck yeah so it's like a press stud and there's no adjustable so it is just that one size but I think that sits on your neck like so and then this probably sits across the front of the top and this at the back maybe until I've got it on guys we won't know I'll insert a picture up here so you get to see what it actually looks like on the model which is why I liked it because it looks so nice on her but that's what it looks like guys so I won't imagine this being a very long top now I kind of like tops to cover my mum tongue because I have had there's a lot of blue fluff on this I don't know where it's coming from I've had four children guys you know and I am 43 I have lost a lot of weight recently um through stress and so forth and not really eating very much but I'm feeling back to myself and I'm happy just to get back on it and um grow this channel so I have asked it to do a collab guys recently and I did turn it down it was a swimwear collab with a Swedish um sw swimwear company none of their outfits were like gothic um and none of their outfits were like covered up and I just wasn't comfortable doing a bikini thing I did say thank you for the offer but I passed on it but it was nice to finally get like a, a natural company a big company asking to collab and I thought thank you for that but no, no thank you I don't really want to get on my um swimsuit on my channel um Susie or in top in tartan so that is the, the little tag that comes with it and then obviously the usual tag here and then it says you are only responsible for what you say, not for what they understand. Oh God, you know, these quotations are so true. Um, I mean, so true. Now the back of this is like, like a four leather kind, and it's quite stretchy guys. So you can see there's a lot of give in this. I did get an XXL and do you know what? I kind of regret it. I think I should have got an XL. I'm not too sure if this is going to be a tad too baggy. But I am quite big chested guys so for that reason it might not be and I think that's why I didn't want to take a chance by getting an XL just because you know although I'm slim on the waist I'm bigger on the breast so it might not fit if I get an XL. Now it is a zip up so it does zip down. Uh -huh. I don't know if you'd want your, <laughs> your top zip down but if you have got a really nice bra on and you wanted to show a little bit of cleavage you can zip it down which is ideal now obviously i don't know what i'd wear with this apart from maybe a black leather skirt now i do have lots of leather skirts and i've got lots of leather trousers as well so the chances are i could mix and match with them i wouldn't wear pvc with these i probably would wear more my four leather uh on my leather skirts i've actually got genuine leather skirts that i've had for quite a while so yeah I probably would have gone with that now this wasn't that expensive guys if i can just get my invoice now i bought this on the 20 percent off sale that they had not that long ago and i, I kind of jumped on the 20 percent off because i usually miss them 20 percent and the 30 percent and all them sales okay so the original price for this top was 12.95 guys it doesn't tell me how much it was because it just gives me the actual price but i think the top was rearing around 10 pound or 9.95 so i thought that wasn't too bad i know it was it was around the 10 pound mark so i thought kill star 10 pound top reduced i'll have a bit of that the one i've been waiting for and i can't believe i finally own one i do want the red one i probably will buy the red one when i don't know possibly before the competition possibly see how much i've saved up and then now i've got this to go with one of my outfits in the color purple so this guys is the grave digger velvet handbag in plum <gasps> it is so gorgeous let me show you so three two one so it's in this tissue bag the um keeps it dry stops it from going moldy i keep all my bags in these ah look at him <laughs> now heavy metal mama said we have to name our bags um i haven't thought of a name yet well i didn't 
I didn't think of a name, but then <laughs> it's going to sound really funny and you're going to go, huh? So I've been watching this program, guys, and it's called White Lines and it's on Netflix and I absolutely love it. I've watched a whole 10 series, 10 episodes, twice. I loved it that much. So I'm going to name this guy Axel. <laughs> and when I get my red one, I'm going to name him Boxer. So Axel and Boxer. So there you go. But this one is Axel, guys. Um, it's a beautiful feeling. It's a really nice velvet touch. And if you look closely, it's got like the indentations of the skull like you can see the pattern of the skull and it's kind of it's kind of weird me calling it axel because if you haven't watched white lines go watch it that's all i'm going to say about it so let me take glasses back off oh oh smudgy smudgy eyes um but you can see everything the detail in this bag is unbelievable i don't know what i was expecting guys i don't know if i was expecting a smaller bag um probably because when i seen the big box i was like oh that's a big box for a such a small bag but this bag is bigger than you think so guys it has here a little key ring a little tassel key ring let me just see if i can take this off there we go now i know heavy metal mama lolly had the black she has the black one and she's got the tassels on hers um it's kind of weird because i'm not really into the tassely kind of thing but I've got so many nice key rings at the minute that this would go with. I might get Voodoo Deuce to make me a purple skull key ring to go on my bag. Because my red one is on my um, Conflict Killstar bag. Now, the only bags I seem to own more of is Killstar. Because I'm not a bag person. But I've been loving the Killstar bags. Um, the only other bag that I've got is my Iron Fist bag. Um, and it's more of a proper womanly handbag. So guys, let's open him up. Let's open Axel's skull up and take out the packaging. So it's well packaged and there is not just one, but two straps. Obviously this one is your shoulder strap, which is your longer strap, which you can adjust. And it's in velvet as well. It's got these really good clasps on them. And then this one is the actual hand kind of handle. Again, it's in velvet and it seems like a really nice sturdy handle. And then it's packaged really well with the paper all the way down to the bottom. Whoa. And then inside are your bag fresheners. Now, I don't like to keep them in because that might think they're sweeties. I know Leah used to think they were sweeties. But because I'm not going to be using this bag just yet, I will put them back in just to keep it fresh. Now... There's no like pockets or anything to slide your phone in. It is literally just all that open space. Now, guys, you can fit absolutely loads in this bag. For example, here is my phone. It is a Samsung phone. It sits at the bottom. I could fit my sunglasses in there, my Killstar sunglasses. I am I am going to be getting some more Killstar sunglasses. Um, you can fit all your makeup in there i'd recommend putting it in a little bag so you don't get your bag dirty so i'd probably put my little makeup bag in there as well i can fit loads in there this is what i love about killstar bags they're quite spacey well the ones i've got are quite spacey apart from the milkshake bag which one of them is on the 1k giveaway but yeah the zips are really really nice it's got the killstar sign on there um let me see if i can zip it back up now it is it's solid guys so just because you've took the packaging out it doesn't mean it's going to start misshaping itself let me just put them in fact i'm not going to put them freshness back in <laughs> so you can pull the zip to the front or zip it to the side and then keep the zips on the inside of where you're going to wear your bag now let's just let's have a look at the handles guys now guys this was 59.99 when I first had a look, I was like, oh, I'm not too sure if I want to pay that kind of money for a bag. Now, shoes, yes, I would. Clothing, I, yes, but not a bag. Although the highest I've probably paid in a Killstar bag is the $34.99 one, which is a cornflake bag. Now, it's going to take a while for the strap to start moulding in place, but 
I'd imagine that it clips on either side here. Let me just clip it in, guys. So it clips in really, really easily and it turns on the clasp. Let me just... There we go. And that is your hand, hand. If you want to just hold it like that. Um, I probably won't. I will probably have it on my actual strap. Now, obviously, if one of my outfits is black and purple, so this is why I've gone for the purple first. Purple being the colour I love the most. Now, I will be getting the red. And I just think... Um, I'm not too sure if I'd walk down the catwalk with a handbag in my hand, in my arm, do you know what I mean? But for the whole kind of theme, I may do. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But here is the strap. So I will probably have it so long so it sits nicely. Now, I'm going to put both straps on for now, guys, just so you can see. They both actually fit on. It's the same kind of purple. Looks slightly darker than the bag, but... Oh, no, the bag is slightly a different shade. Can you see? Just slightly different. This one's kind of lighter. But there you go, guys. Now, you can adjust that, like I said. You can have that... How do you do? Yeah, it's just one of these that you pull up. There we go. And then just sort that that way. And then there you go. I think that is amazing. Absolutely love it. Now I have inspected it thoroughly. I've checked it. There's no stitching coming away. There's no marks on it. It's not ripped anywhere. Um, at the at the bottom, you can see the velvet's there at the bottom as well. Um, I didn't pay $59.99 for this, guys. I paid $45, I think it were, my 20% off. Altogether, my my whole... It should have come to $72.94, guys, and it came to, I think it was $52.94. It was really, really reasonable. If I can find the actual price that I paid, I'll pop it up here so you can see. Or I will mention it when I do my try-on. There you go, guys, and the label is still on. I'll keep all this on. I'll keep it in the bag. But if you was interested or you want to get one of these and you wasn't too sure if it was worth the money, I can actually say that I would have paid £60 for this, without a doubt. I've paid more for schools upstairs, like actual schools. Now, obviously, this is a handbag, but I probably will display this very much like Lolly does in her room. Um, I haven't got a windowsill, so it can't go on my window. I'll probably put it on my unit. But then again, I wouldn't want it to start collecting dust because this is velvet. I'm not too sure, guys, but that is Axel. This is from Killstar, $59.99. I don't need that 20% sale is still on. Probably not now, guys. But um, if there is another sale like that, I would jump on these items because you get quite a lot. I think I got about maybe 15, 15 pound knocked off it. And I thought that was a massive chunk from a 60 pound bag. So I was chuffed with that. All right, guys, I'll go and try on this top. So wait till the end so you get to see what it looks like. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you see when I um, upload my videos. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Welcome aboard. Um, <coughs> I will do a quick announcement now while I've got the chance. Guys, I have now stopped beauty on my channel. Um, I have deleted all my beauty videos rash i know but i just thought i don't want my channel to go in that direction anymore any makeup that i buy i will not be showing on my channel anymore unless i'm going to be using it for a gothic makeup look i won't be doing lots of makeup looks on my channel but every now and again i will put the odd one on like i've got the gothic rebel rose set um i will be doing a collab with another youtuber with that and i will be testing it myself but it'll be more creating a gothic look not testing the palette so unfortunately for some um it's come to the end of my beauty journey i just don't want to be in that category anymore i have my reasons guys okay say so to the end let's go and try this top on and i'll see you on the next one say so to the end bye for now Okay guys, <laughs> let's discuss this top. So I've literally had to get my husband to come down and help me. There was no way in the world I knew how to get this top on. <laughs> I've got Killstar up at the minute on my screen, on my computer, just to try and suss out the situation. So I'm gonna discuss it with you guys. So if you do buy this top and you can't figure it out, you can come back and watch my video and it'll show you how to do it. Firstly, this is what it looks like on. I paired it up with a leather skirt. 
you could pair it up with whatever you want guys you could pair this up with trousers jeans black trousers leather trousers pvc trousers but i don't really recommend pvc with this but i absolutely love this whole harness here absolutely love this now if you wonder why i always refer to here because my tv is here and i can see so as you can see it goes across your chest under your bust and across your bust and then you have this halter neck piece here that clips around the back of your neck like so can you see and then you've got buckles so you can have it loose or you can have it tighter this goes across your back and then six down like so on your back now obviously my brow is showing guys which it always seems to show if I just move this down slightly yeah it sits quite funny on the back guys um I cannot not wear a bra if that makes sense but I absolutely love the harness in this I'm actually wanting to go and buy a harness now like a body harness but that is what it would look like guys I would have to fix it I'll have my see-through strap so you don't see it so in actual fact it would be backless guys you wouldn't see a strap so it'd be just completely bare like so but because I need a bra mother of four you know we have to have a bra on now I'm gonna have a look and see if they've got trousers to match this I don't think they have but I would probably wear this with my skirt because I do like it. I'll just have to fix the bra situation. Now, let's just add Axel to the picture because obviously Axel's part of this bundle. Now, I'm not too sure if I'd be comfortable holding a skull at this length. So I would probably pull it down a bit more, guys. Like so. So he's further down, so I can actually just hold him to the side here. So, for example, there you go. Axles to the side, you've got all your stuff in it. I would have my zips on the inside so nobody can zip out anything that's in my bag. And there you go. And I've got little accents of, accents of purple in my top, which matches Axel anyway. But guys, that is what it looks like in a hole. Let me discuss with you the top itself. So we've all seen Axel. Say goodbye to Axel. He can go upstairs now. Now, let me discuss this top because I could not get this top on with the harness attached to it. This came attached as one. What they did, whoever put this top together is a nitwit, they had all this inside out. So when I tried to put this top on, no matter what I did, it was inside out. I was fuming because i was like have they sold me a top that i can't even entertain to the front because it was all twisted and then my husband came down and decided to show me how to do it so basically guys if this came in two pieces it would be a lot easier so when you do get this top i will take it apart like so so you won't buckle it okay like so and then here guys it comes off it's got a press stud and it comes off like so so for example it was all this way when I got it and I was like oh, okay but it needs to be this way so all it does is buckle in can you see now these all do come out as well oh no these don't come out but this is all one piece all this comes off guys so you can remove the whole thing let me show you so you take that off take that off Voila! You see what I mean? It was like that on me and I was well confused. I was trying to twist it and it just wouldn't twist. But then you just clip it back in. Now, the back bit, obviously, just sits then. But you can untwist this because this was all twisted as well, guys. So you can take that off. It's just the same as this and so forth. Now, obviously, I'm going to be taking this top off. And the only way to take it off would be to take these off the o-ring and unbuckle and then you just buckle to the side can you see where i'm going with this so 
it's not one of them tops you can just take out and put on guys unfortunately you've got to mess with it but you can have this as loose or as tight as you want but i like i like the whole concept of it i just wish i knew because it's taking me 25 minutes guys to suss this out <laughs> literally but that's the top guys i'm just going to hold it there because i don't want to attach it all tell me what you think guys it's 12.95 but it still had that flash set. I'm going to try and get this on ASAP. That sale is still on at 20% off. I'm going to go on now and see if they've got any skirts or trousers to match this top. If not, I'm going to leave it because I've got enough to go with it. Um, but I only paid, I think, with the 20% off and that bag, I think I only paid like 10 95 So it was really, really reasonable. So there you go, guys. That is my kill star and my axle. Let me grab him by the handle. There you go. So if you're interested, I'll pop both down in the link below. Go and check it out, see what you think. All right, guys, I'm going to go and take this off and I will save this for our outfit of the week some, somewhere down the line. If you still want to see outfits of the week, guys, pop a comment below and let me know. Or if you think I've, I've you've had enough of that series, let me know and I will stop doing that now and maybe look for a different one to do. But if you still want to see more outfits mixed, matched together, comment below and let me know i do have three more three more weeks of it running if you want more i will film some more and i'll get some more outfits put together but it's up to you guys all right take care of yourself and i'll see you on the next one bye for now